Hey everyone, welcome back with another video of Site Process. Today we are going to discuss about how to schedule an appointment in calendar module. So you all know about what you mean by appointment, right? So appointment is basically refers to scheduled meeting or events that can be created, managed, and you guys can also share that directly within the calendar in the piece. So without wasting any time, let's directly move to the calendar module. So once you enter the calendar module, there you can find appointments at the top, right? So just click on there and here you will get the dashboard. And you can see it's filled with pre-created appointments, which are the first one is dental care, tennis card, online cooking lesson, and lastly, interviews availabilities. And you can see the corresponding informations like the duration, users, upcoming meetings, total meetings, and lastly, uh, it's like given a green ribbon, right? And which is labeled as published. So some of them are published and one of them are not published. And here you can see Odoo is defaultly set the Kanban view for the appointments. And here you can also set the list. And you can see all the information regarding the list view like appointment title, location, time zone, users and resource also. And you can uh, set up as per your concerns. And let's move back to the Kanban view. And let's create a new appointment. So click on the new button and here you will get a form and fill up. Click the new button. Here we have the form of appointment, right? So we need to fill up that. And what we have first, we have appointment title. So we need to specify what is the title for our appointment. And before that, let me create a scenario. Here you can see the user, Michelle Admin. So the Michelle Admin is actually a uh, plan to conduct a one hour free consultation to his customer. So let's specify the appointment day class that. And next we have some other configure options under that. And first of all, what we have duration. So the duration actually means how long the meeting lasts. So you need to specify that. Uh, we have already specified it what, yeah, we are actually giving one hour of consultation. So let me remind this is one hour. And here we have another option like create a slot every one hours. You can specify the hours like starting from the beginning of the time slot, Odoo will create a new slot at regular interview based on the time specified here. So you need to specify a time for that. So let it be one hour. And here we have pre-booking time, which means how far in advance someone must book this. So you need to specify also that uh, like if your customer needs to book so what is the pre-booking time for them so that's here and here we have scheduling window we have two scheduling window like uh, available now and within date range so available now is basically uh, the appointment is always open for booking so you are sp uh, specifying that this uh, appointment is available every time and you need to set a limit for that up to 15 days 20 days or 30 days like uh, days into the future so here and reminds it's 15 and here we have another option like scheduling window uh, what is that within a date range which means you need to limit the window when people can book like within a date range okay once you enable this then you can see a change like you need to specify the starting date to the ending date and uh, let it be available now. And here we have a long cancellation, which means uh, how close to the appointment time the user can still cancel. Like uh, if Michelle Admins needs to cancel this particular appointment, when he needs to cancel that before how much time, uh, how much time before he can uh, cancel this particular appointment. So he, need, uh, he needs to specify that. So let it be one hour. And here we have availability on, which is a user and a resource. So basically a user is actually uh, like this consultation is belongs to a user. So we need to specify it's a user. Uh, but in other hand, we can say if it's a, a tennis court booking, you need to specify it's a resource, right? And once you specify it's a resource, you can see other two options has appeared like resource and manage capacities. First one is resource. So you need to uh, check the resource availability and you need to put the resource here. And you can also manage the capacities, which means uh, manage the maximum amount of people a resource can handle. 
So let it be 70, 80, 90, 20. Like that, you can easily manage the capacity of the resource from here. And let's uh, move back to the users. And once you enable the users, you need to specify the user also. So who is the user? It's machine learning. And we have assignment method, uh, which means how users and resource will be assigned to meetings, customers book on your website. So uh, there is a path to book the appointment, right? So you need to any, I mean, check the um, path for booking. And you can see three parts like pick user or resource first and then time. And here we have select time, then user or resource. And lastly, select time, then auto assign. So you can uh, choose from the uh, assignment method and that will be shown on your website. And uh, after that here, you can see schedules, right? So schedule is basically what are the schedules uh, of this particular appointments. Like you can see in Monday. We have two schedules starting from 9 to 12 and 14 to 17 and you can see that. Uh, and let's move to the options and here we have some internal configured options, right? So first of all, what we have friend and display. So if you guys need to show your picture on your website, you need to enable show pictures or if you don't need, just enable no pictures. And here we have website. If you need to specifically give any website here you can do that and you need to specify the time zone uh, that appropriate to your customer and here we have the location so you need to uh, give a location so let me give that online meeting so it's here and here we have video conference link which means uh, to use it for virtual meeting so it's uh, the firstly set as Odoo meeting and you can also use Zoom, Google Meet, etc. And here we have manual confirmation, uh, which is if you guys are checked this, like if you guys are checking this, um, the user must manually approve every booking. So uh, once a customer is books you, uh, the user must uh, manually confirm if the booking is okay or not. So I'm not enabling this and here we have upfront pay payment which is similar to that if you need to charge any uh, yeah charge any fee extra fees from your customer side you need to enable this and here we have to create opportunities like from this uh, booking if you need to create any opportunities you need to enable this and limit to work hours you can put a limit to work hours and reminders like email in three hours sent a text message in one hour so you, you can also put a reminders and here we have booking emails which means uh, if uh, your booking emails will be set this will be sent to the customer when the appointment is booked so once a, uh, a customer is uh, booked your appointment uh, there will be entirely sending an email to your customer like this and here we have the cancellation email which is similar to the booking appointment once the appointment is cancelled, I mean, booking is cancelled, this also is sent to your customer. And here we have allowing guests, which means um, like the user, the customer can easily um, enter any other guest. Like we can say if uh, it's a group uh, of persons, like if we are giving the consultation for a group of persons, uh, we can easily enable this and other people can enter uh, to this particular consultation. And next we have another tab which is called questions. So question is basically uh, like you guys can collect extra information from the person's uh, booking. So let's give the question. So let's add one questions. So here you can see an example which is called what are the symptoms that uh, for a doctor consultation you can use this example like what are the symptoms of the uh, patients. So let me give a uh, what yeah what would you like to discuss I think this is very okay for this uh, scenario so let's keep. And here you can also set up the answer type like single line text, multi line text, drop down, radio, checkbox. So you can choose as per your concern. 
and here we have the placeholder you can specify the base placeholder and mandatory answer once you need a mandatory answer from your customer side you can check this and let's save and close so here you can see the questions and you can add more lines and here we have the message session like first of all what we have introduction message so you can set up an introduction message like a small description of the appointment type here you can see an example during this meeting we will be discussing uh, something like dash 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 okay and here we have extra message on confirmation which means uh, extra information provided once the appointment is booked uh, like you can uh, set up a grat i mean gratitude message like thank you for your address we look forward to meeting you something like that here i'm not going to set any confirmation message or introduction message and once you're done with all of these options let's move and here you can see two option which is called share and preview so if you need to share you can use the button called share and if you need to preview you can also use that and here we have smart tabs which is appointment and go to website so uh, once we are done with this let's save okay after saving this let's move to the appointment session and here you can see and uh, you can see the gun view is enabled here so there will be the dates per month and yeah uh we can easily create appointment using the new button i mean create the booking using the new button and let's move uh, to our appointment and let's click on the smart button which is called go to website so basically this is unpublished right so let's move here and yeah once you are here you can see it's unpublished so let's publish this and after publishing this, uh, the, you can see um, the month and we can easily select the date and time. So, let's select the date and time for the booking. So, let it be 13. And here you can also select the time. And you need to, you need to enter your full name. And you can also set up an email, phone number. And... Uh, you can give an answer like what would you like to discuss so you can set up any answers here I'm not going to do that and after that let's confirm this appointment so once you are confirm your appointment here you can see appointment is scheduled DNA pre one hour consultation booking so that's all and let's move back to the appointment and there you can see our appointment, created appointment, which is free one hour consultation. The duration is one hour. You see it is Michelle Edmund. And also one upcoming meeting and total meeting is actually one. Right. And uh, let's move here. And let me show you one more thing. We can easily create a booking like this. So let me create another booking, which is um, Tessa, free consultation. All right. After that, here you can see the status like uh, request booked, checked in, no show, cancelled. So, you can specify your status. So, let it be booked and here you can see the appointment and you can also go to the internal link from here. And you can specify the date. So, let me specify the date like 12. And you can see the organizer and let's put the attendees. Let it be Abigail Peterson. Okay, the following user are not select. I mean, it's in, okay, let it be uh, free. Like you don't want to add any attendees. And let's save this. After saving that here, you can see uh, it's changed, right? So we have already set a booking and let's move back. And here you can see upcoming meeting is two and the total missing is two. I mean, meeting is two. And we have already published this, right? So that's all about uh, how to... Uh, create or how to schedule an appointment and how to book the appointment and everything so i hope you all understand this video if you like this video do subscribe share with your friends and have a nice day thank you